welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you around my new house. I say new, I moved in in the middle of May. Um, the reason I haven't filmed a house tour before now is because I've had a few bits of furniture that hadn't arrived or was broken or was the wrong thing or whatever. And the last piece of furniture finally arrived two weeks ago. I've kind of been trying to not put too much pressure on myself because I really, I'm so proud of what I've done with the house and making it into a home and I kind of really want to show it at its best so that means making sure it's all tidy and I am going to talk about like keeping stuff tidy and everything um, but I just wanted to kind of do it when I felt it was the right time and now is the right time especially as next week I'll be getting my puppy and I'm so excited so it's going to be a bit harder to film the first few weeks when she's when she's around because my focus is on her obviously so yeah this is my house i'm going to show you around my house but i'm also going to talk to you a little bit about what it's been like moving out for the first time and how i'm finding it here i really wanted to have each have each room a different theme and have it be as welcoming as relaxing and peaceful as possible that's what i want it to be for not only me and sam but for anyone that comes here i want them to feel peaceful and um, enchanted that's what I want them to feel now the first room that you come into when you walk in the house is kind of the hallway and that's where kind of all of the rooms go off of and I kind of wanted to give this a bit of a magical theme so there's kind of like lots of fairy lights some big keys big chunky fairy keys uh, there's a really cool coat stand and my Beauty and the Beast furniture is in there as well there's there's roses on the wall there's not really much else to say about that so I'm going to talk to you next about the the blue room which is the music room and also Lola's bedroom so when Lola comes to stay she has a futon to sleep on there's a double futon this room I kind of I didn't know what I was going to do with it because I hadn't planned on decorating at all and then when I got in here I was like oh my god I want to do everything because it's very clinical and very beige um, so I decorated pretty much something in every room and with the blue room what we did was I was thinking of going with the day of the dead theme and then I found um, a really nice uh, paint um, a dark blue paint I wanted one of the walls to be like a like a dark midnight blue and I found this beautiful color but then I found this thing it's by a company called Valspar and it's paint glitter so what you do is you kind of put it in the paint mix it up and it makes the paint kind of shimmery you can put just a little bit in for a subtle shimmer or loads in for like full-on glitter and I wanted kind of it to have the effect of a night sky because when you're kind of a bit far away from it it just looks like a really nice blue wall but when you all kind of get closer to it it just comes to life and it's so so beautiful and I've used the Valspar um, paint glitter in this room and in the bedroom as well which I'll talk about in a minute um, so yeah in the music room it's where kind of all the music stuff happens there's Sam's computer that was his birthday present um, his recording gear my microphones my guitar his guitar uh, the drums and we've got some we've got some kind of old vintage style prints and also um, around the house artwork wasn't something that I thought about but Sam's a big fan of artwork and we had a look at like a lot of things and we got a few um, canvases custom made so some of them are ones that we've taken or made or whatever but a lot of them are just ones we've bought so there's a few pictures in the music room and then on the shelf in the music room loads of photo frames lots of pictures lots of sentimental stuff um, both of mine and Sam's there's lots of pictures of the girls and of Ruby. I think the blue wall is probably my favourite thing in the house, just how beautiful it is. And I love kind of the atmosphere in there and how chilled it is and I just love it. Next onto the bathroom because that's kind of the least exciting room of the house I guess apart from the hallway. Uh, the bathroom's a wet room and so it's there's not really much you can do about it. It's very clinical to me, it's definitely my least favourite kind of area to spend time in because it's a bathroom you know again I wasn't going to do anything in there but just before I moved in I was like I really want to it doesn't f it just feels too hospitally for me so I painted the walls pink it's kind of got a romantic Parisian theme there's like a really nice black um, mirror and there's a Parisian it was called like a vin Parisian vintage romantic shower curtain it's kind of lots of pretty girly stuff on there but it's not kind of like overly girly it next I'm going to take you into the kitchen and again it's kind of a kitchen what more can you say about it the i showed you all of my stuff in my homeware hall kind of the copper and the purple stuff we've got some photos up on the walls and this is kind of dexter's bedroom as well so her bed's going to be in here um but it's to be honest she's kind of got a bed in each room so she can just do what she wants one thing that you'll notice about the house is there are lots of fairy lights everywhere like i think in the living room alone there's maybe five or six lots of fairy lights and in each room there is at least one lot of fairy lights because i i just think they add so much to a room and something that i found 
um, since moving in is that I am afraid of being in the dark on my own. Um, especially because Sam keeps telling me it's haunted here. That doesn't help. I turn one of the sets of fairy lights on at night, so if I have to get up, then it's not pitch black. But also, something that I found with the fairy lights is that they tend to, where they look pretty in the day, at night it really brings the rooms to life, especially in the living room, which I'll tell you about in a minute. It kind of just brings it all to life, it just looks so beautiful. Okay, now the living room. This is kind of the room that I planned first of all, and I bought the first few things for, for the house. And I wanted it to be kind of a Moroccan, a hippie laid back room very relaxed I wanted the furniture to kind of look like they'd been bought in like flea markets like in India that was the idea and I think we've achieved that really well with the two the two tables in here because they are my favorite pieces of furniture it's like um, a treasure chest and it opens up when I saw it I was like oh my god I have to have it and it was touch and go whether or not I'd be able to get it and then when I got it I was like oh my god I got it on eBay at the end of this video I'm going to tell you where I got a lot of the stuff from like not everything individually because a lot of that was in my homeware haul but just where I found was good for home stuff again there's lots of fairy lights this was actually quite expensive the um the wall hanging it's not something that I would normally spend a lot of money on but I think I got 20% off because I got it at Christmas I think and I'd had my eye on it for ages and it's like an Illuminati style one so it's really cool and then on the mantelpiece um, above the fire there's the most beautiful clock it looks like it's come straight off the Titanic you see what I mean kind of about having things that look like they're vintage and they have a history that's kind of what I wanted in this room. I've got like my candelabra, my fairy lights, and a lot of fake flowers because I love fake flowers and I put like um, oil in them so that they do smell. And th this is what I was saying earlier about like my living room. At night it comes to life. It just glows. It's so, so beautiful with the gold. And then there's like the gold shimmer around the top on the purple. And yeah, there's a lot of artwork in here too. Um, Sam got me a piece for Christmas, which is up on the wall just here. Um, there's also a canvas of Ruby, Sam bought a flower, like a metal flower, which we found in a charity shop, it's so beautiful. There is some pressed flowers in like a little frame, one of them was from the first bunch of flowers that Sam bought me for my birthday last year, so when we'd only been together for like a month, and the other one is from a bunch of flowers mum bought me to like, as a happy moving in sort of flowers. But we've also got kind of a smoke canvas which is Sam's favourite and I've got to admit I do really like it and then there's kind of a gothic-y looking one which is over by the fireplace as well. The one thing that I really love about um, the house that I've tried to do is I put kind of lots of little things that you wouldn't necessarily see the first time you come but you might see you know something different every time you come and on the ceiling I've got these little crystal ornaments which is one of them's a hummingbird and one of them's like a diamond um, they're kind of like prisms and they're so so beautiful. They were from Danel. I had a massive problem They're the ones that messed up my wardrobe, but I got like so much of my house stuff from there I loved it in there. There's some really really beautiful stuff There's some really cheap stuff in there and nothing's kind of really expensive the wardrobe that I wanted from there was so Beautiful it was oh just gorgeous because they messed me around like four times They they sent the wrong one or it was broken or it went missing so I had to get another one and that was from eBay um, which is kind of similar but not as pretty and that's in the bedroom obviously but it was like a quarter of the price the last one to show you is the bedroom and I really wanted for this room to be kind of a gothic brothel that's what I was going for so there's like the dark red on the wall there's some of the gold shimmer in there as well um, so it really shimmers and what I really like is on the other walls is like a pearlescent paint it was like kind of a white shimmer. There's loads of skulls in there because as I said I wanted it to be kind of gothic and cool there's Sam's creepy weird hand um, lots of fairy lights. My bed is something that didn't make it over in the move. It broke so I had to buy a new bed. It's kind of similar but it's a bit smaller. The headboard's smaller and the there's no football. In every room there's also lots of candles and like little, there's little pieces of paper, they're like scented sheets and I'm kind of hidden them everywhere because I want it to smell really nice. Like I'd say each room kind of does have a different smell because I've got a different smell candle in them. The garden is being done at the moment because um, I've had a driveway built because there wasn't a driveway so I've been having to park on the lawn outside the outside the front <clears throat> because I can't walk that far um, and there's no parking guaranteed, there's no parking space. So I've had a driveway built and now the next thing to do, because I love having a project, I love organising and you know new things, it's just fun. So the garden's the next thing, um, I'm, although all the gardeners so far have letting me down um, because they've come out to look, get a, tell me they're going to email me with a quote or call me and they don't, it's a bit annoying. In terms of how I've coped, I'm really proud of how I've kind of coped with everything. Like if things go wrong, like there's a dishwasher in the kitchen, it's broken. So now I'm having to wash everything up, which is a pain in the ass. But I'm going to get rid of the dishwasher because it's going to save money. Um, 
and I think I can cope with washing up now because it's something that my OCD has trouble with. I don't deal well with like wet hands and wet feet or wet anything. I don't like it. But I think if I kind of manage it carefully, and also a really good tip, I read this on BuzzFeed, put cling film over your bowls and plates and stuff, then you never need to wash them. It's amazing. So I've been doing that to save kind of washing up stuff. Money is something that's difficult. I've had a lot of unexpected expenditure, the bed, the wardrobe, things that you don't think about. Like I bought like, I'd say 60, 70% of everything. Um, but there's things that you don't account for and also paying bills for the first time. Um, it's just that there was a mix up with my rent. So I'm now having to pay more rent than, than I should have been. And it's just a pain in the ass. And with paying the garden as well, I'm having to find kind of the cheapest way to do it. I'm coping with it. I'm coping with it. And also because of the puppy. I know that, you know, you could say, well, you shouldn't have got the puppy. But she means so much to me. And I've been waiting like five years for this. And it's going to be such a big thing for me um, mentally. I'd rather be broke and just eat mud than not have my puppy. So Also, I'm really proud of how tidy I've kept it. Like, I hoover most days. It's not obsessive. I just like seeing it tidy and looking neat. And because... You know, my room was always messy at home, but that was my whole life crammed into one room, whereas now I've got a whole house. So everywhere always looks quite tidy. I just make sure that it's extra tidy. Um, and I do like a proper tidy up sort of like every other day, which is really cool and it doesn't take me very long. And I just, I enjoy it, which I never thought I'd say. And the last thing I'm gonna talk about is where I, I've gotten a lot of things. And now if you wanna watch my homeware haul, a lot of this stuff I featured in my homeware haul and I showed you where I got it from. As start, I got lots of cushions and some kitchen stuff. Danelm, as I said, I've got lots of candles, my fake flowers, vases, a lot of the smelly stuff, uh, lots of little bits. Um, I think I got one of the lights from there, the curtain poles. It's really good value and the candles are amazing in there. I got a lot of stuff on eBay because I'm broke. Um, as I said, my table, both my tables in here actually came from eBay. Um, my wardrobe, B&M is good for lots of little bits and kind of quirky decorations. Some of it can be a bit tacky, but if you kind of do it in the right way, then, you know, you can get away with it. Sainsbury's I got some of my kitchen stuff from as well. Oh, the range is a good one as well. The range I got my clock and my Moroccan lamp from. Primark is another good place. That's really good for fairy lights um, because I'm just a slut for fairy lights. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and coming into my home. It's really sad because I'm so proud of this house. And I don't have anyone to invite round and show it off because I don't have any friends. And it's kind of, it is making me think about that like more. Like it's making me sad about it because I don't have any friends to kind of invite round to my house. Anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.